Okay, so we're heading to the Kaimanawa Wall today. We're on Clements Mill Road at the moment, and it's a good dirt road through the Kaimanawa Forest. Fantastic place, there's some real amazing big old trees around here. Good place to be. Um, so we are not actually far away now from the Kaimanawa Wall. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's a stone structure that many people is, think is man-made. Um, it's not actually been proven either way. Um, we'll have a look at it when we get there. If you're more interested in it, do a Google search on the Kaimanawa Wall. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of theories. There's been a lot of scientific experiments and measurements taken here. Um, yeah, form your own opinion. It's quite an interesting one. Anyway, we will head down the road here because we are not far away from it. It's pretty much on the side of the road. There's plenty of places to camp along this road too. A lot of them have got fire pits. Um, this one's not far from Kaimanawa Wall. So there's lots of places now. I won't drive around. There's heaps of people in there enjoying themselves. So no point in making a mess in there with all the dust. But yeah, well worth it. Found the wall. Had to turn around because I drove straight past the damn thing. Anyway, here it is. Head on up, and have a bit of a look, eh? So there's many that believe that this was actually man-made. You've got these lines and gaps in the wall, and some are saying that they're exact gaps, things like that. Some think it's a pyramid underneath there, lots of different things. Yeah, I think um, we all have a different opinion about this. There's been, um, I think it's possibly back in the 80s. I think it was a research team of scientists that came in and the front of the wall here, they dug down quite a lot. And they reckon they found a foundation under there. But. It's a theory, I guess. Um, you know, you can start talking about spaceships and all sorts of things soon. <laughs> Aliens and that. Some of these theories are all a bit weird. So you'll notice over here, we've got the sign. And this is Doc's opinion. So have a read of that. And of course they say no digging, because they don't want anyone to come along and think that they've um, discovered something or come up with a new theory. It's an amazing piece of forest. Track just up the side here. I don't really think it goes anywhere. Okay, yep, you can head around. You can get up here on top by the big tree, sitting right on top of the wall. Give you an idea of where we are.
the end of the road guys. This is the end of Clements Road, the campsite right up the end. As you can see we've got some good little fire pits and things in here. Really safe these ones. Um, plenty of wood around obviously, a lot of dead wood, dead trees. Bring your own wood if you want some dry stuff I'd say. Anyway, we shall head back down and see what we can find down the track. Here's the start of the four-wheel drive track, guys. We'll, um, probably have to take some air out the tyres. We'll see what it's like anyway. It might just be a bit of a gravel, but I'm pretty sure further up there's a few bits of clay and undulations and things. Um, well, yeah, we'll go check it out. That was nice and tight. but here's just like a gravel road. <laughs> so I guess it had a lot of washouts and things and not, obviously not really a main track. Oh uh, yep, a few more decent ruts around here. Oh, this'll be a good bit. Figure out what we've got to do here, I think. Good thing is the track's dry, so 
that's not too bad. Just a bit of up down through here, I think. But a wheel lift, maybe it's pretty bloody steep. You have a hell of a good time in the wet. Okay. As usual, it's always hard to show you how steep these things are, but it's going to be a great little bit of track. so it's sort of I think it's usual how they rev higher one that are bloody annoying really but Ranger's got very low range gearbox um, some of the stuff I do I'm still doing in, in high high four um, especially beach driving I find high four is actually pretty bloody good compared to low it's just gonna get yourself stuck too many revs here we go guys We're a nice clearing up at the end here reckon little quarry area up here pretty sure that the track just ends just up around here from memory not a bad little spot to camp either if you feel like getting away from the others that have got four wheel drives yep there we go into the road This would be a bloody cool place to camp actually. You're all on your own, fairly sheltered up here with the hills. I'll get out and show you around. Okay, let's go for the ground. So here's the end of the road. Should I say track? It's a good little track. Really enjoyed that. Nice little camp spot there, not perfectly level, but it's a bit sheltered. Down into here, you've got another one here. So, um, you can head down over there if you want. Trail through here. So there's a, a walking track that you can head off into the into the woods and do your hunting, whatever you want to need to do. And this sort of well, it looks like a quarry area, but it's just basically it's had a lot of slips and things, I think. 
I said there's been a bit of quarrying happening up here, mostly just for the, the roads and things. And there's Dusty, both your companion always in the back. Again, we're in the Kaimanawas, guys, so I've got a permit for her to be here. Um, permit lasts me about three, four months, I think. Uh, better to have that than get caught out by the dock ranger and get yourself a big bloody fine. So yeah, you could have a plane here if you wanted. Let's walk up this way. Oh, here we go. I'm actually in my jandals, so I'm not really in my hiking, any sort of hiking shoes or boots. So there you go, this could be the primo campsite. Get yourself up into here. Big backdrop of the cliff, and that'd be very nice with a little fire under control up in here. And we can look off into the distance. It's cool. Look at that. January 2023. Wow, it's bloody freezing up here. Hey, you gotta be comfortable occasions, don't you? Get yourself prepped. Alright, um, we're gonna take five, ten minutes out here to grab something to eat and drink, water the dog, and we'll head on back down. I'm not sure what that was, but something just ran out behind us on the track. Very black. I wouldn't have thought it had been a possum at this time of day, but who knows? Of course, we're not going to find it now, are we? That was interesting. I just see it in my rear view mirror. I thought, how something's moving. Yeah, it's gone. Long gone. I don't know what that was. I was just hoping it wasn't a feral cat, but I don't know if they're having problems with cats up in this part of the forest. Okay, back in the truck. and slowly. Just point and gun in some of these ruts if you don't need to, eh? scrape on the running board there, overall. Truck's only running a two inch lift, but it seems to get us out of trouble everywhere, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother going to the 
three inch lift and uh, until I go to 33 inch tires which at this stage I'm just gonna wait for these to wear out I think that's probably the best plan um, spent enough money on this truck as it is so yeah right where are we okay Got a few little fun bits down here don't look too bad though we'll just keep um, keep moving it's a bit hard for me to get back out of the truck it's just way steeper than you think Just about back at the start guys it's got that one little obstacle to get around that's that great big tree that's over the track um they've cut between it but i don't like giving you any more room than they have to <laughs> we're down a couple inches on each side so we'll just yeah so you always seem to care for these things you might come in one way and not hit it but you go out and bam you've forgotten something you've hit the damn thing so let's take it easy get a spit of rain before too but I don't wear forecast any I'd, I'd love to be going up that hill in a bit of wet that would just you know, be tires right down and a decent bit of bloody grip There's this great big tree. She was a big bloody tree in its day, eh? Look at that. Look how old that thing is. It's this bit here on the left that sticks out like that to get you. So, it's alright. We've got pretty good visibility around the thing anyway, so we'll take it from there and see. Pretty cool old tree. When all these came down, there's a hell of a lot as you drive around these roads that have come down. Pretty um, pretty old forest, but it's surprising they fall down. But it is generally due to wind, which you'd find hard to believe because you're so sheltered in here at the moment. Anyway, let's have a look at this, and off we go. Alright, that's us, mission's complete. Let's, um, we're gonna head out to the road here. In fact, we're at the road now, we're right here already. Okay, so we are gonna sign off here. Um, we've done the trek, it was a bit of fun. It's not long, you'd be lucky if it's a couple of K long, really, but it's just the steep part and the, um, all the holes and bits and pieces you fall into, but yeah, bloody good track. 
Um, so I'm actually heading back up the road. The whole reason I'm here is because I'm picking up a friend of mine who's been backpacking and tramping through the Kaimanawas. Um, he's been out there for four days. Um, in fact, maybe even been five. Um, so I nominated myself to come pick him up because I was in the Taupo area. Um, he was with another guy who's pulled out because it was pretty hard going. I believe it's a grade five track up through there, which is pretty hard going. Um, it would beat me, that's for sure. That's why I own a four wheel drive. Um, but Dave's got his own YouTube channel as well, guys. Outdoorsman Dave. Um, worth looking up. Um, obviously no four wheel driving, but it's good to see another side of things. Um, bushcrafting and survival, things like that. Um, Dave's done some great trips, done some with his dogs as well. And um, yeah, I just enjoy his contents. There's something else to watch, different point of view. Doesn't always have to be about four wheel driving or even um, vehicles, really. So yeah, so no, check it out. I will put a link in the description of the video um, down below and you can check him out as well as this. So yeah, remember like and subscribe. Tell your mates if you enjoy the channel. And um, I'm gonna be heading back to Fakaipo Bay in Taupo. We've got the caravan parked up and the inflatable boat and all the rest, and we're gonna go and have a bit of fun over there. So it is 4.15 in the afternoon. So I guess that'll be tomorrow that we'll start playing with the boat and doing a bit of walking through the, the bush and things as well. All right. Um, I have actually got seven dogs with us, <laughs> hard to believe. Dusty's the only one with me on this trip today. The others are all back at camp. Um, we actually have five dogs anyway, a few of them are smaller than Dusty. Um, but one of them, of course, had puppies, so there's two extras, that's the only reason. So they will be going, I'll be back to five dogs. But for Kaikopo Bay, dock camp, you're allowed the dogs, great environment, swim in the water, do what you want. Really good place. There was a lot of four wheelers there today with their um, rooftop tents and other camping bits and pieces. Um, interesting, some of the off-road camp caravans that are starting to show up in New Zealand now, some really awesome ones in there. And of course, the camper trailers. So, yep, if you're looking for a place to stay that's a bit more civilised, that's possibly the one. Um, otherwise, anywhere up through here on McClements Road, awesome spot, guys. Plenty of places you can pull off. Um, the only place that's got the toilet is at the very, very end of the road. And there'll be an old long drop toilet. So, okay, that's it for me. Signing off. Thanks for watching. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. It is New Year's Day. So, let's hope that we get a hell of a lot more videos in this year and... You guys take care. See you later.